I got a juice, juice, juice. Still got the juice, just seen a love with yo, Brooklyn in the building. Yeah. Brooklyn girl. So, has a Roddy in the building. Did I see it? Big six, seven. How's it ready? Yeah. All right. All right. I'm over here, Thank babe. you. Thank you. I want to get the accent right. Mm -hmm. I wanna, you could have said, hey, he's a Roddy. You could have still had your accent for the parade this weekend and everything like that. Whatever. What? Unless you've been, you been Dominican? No, Puerto Rican. Oh, see, I got it. Right. I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> All right. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about how I really love your story. I love the fact that your, your craft is writing. Mm -hmm. And from writing came, I mean, you were, you were doing the, come on, you know, you right, right, rapping, yeah. but I ain't like you that. went in a I career was... of writing mm -hmm. and then was like, wait a minute, I'm trapping myself in. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to talk about a little bit of all of that. Okay. So um, where, is, where did it begin for you? Your love for music? Uh, definitely in the crib, you know, coming up, everybody got, you know, the music on the TV, the, the BET, the rap cities and all that other stuff. And then my dad used to do music too. He was like, he did like the, he told me about it all the time, like he lost, so it don't really count like that to me, but I think he had did a um, Apollo, and he had lost to Stevie Wonder. Oh, he was he was in a group there, yeah. Mm -hmm. And his the Stevie mm -hmm. Wonder? But they was in a group though. How he did it by some my pops might have won. But um, yeah, he was like the, uh, I don't know, the high voice that? Uh, the like a soprano? That's that that thing, yeah, that was him. Yeah, okay, yeah, okay, yeah. okay, okay, okay. Yeah. And um, so I grew up around that. My brother was an aspiring artist too. So it was always around me and everybody, you know, around me did music. So uh, I think it was like, it was a couple years back, I was in school and uh, one of my friends had bumped into me and they was going to it, like they was going through it with like another side in our neighborhood. Like we the first side in my neighborhood, so like so I call the far side. Mm -hmm. So they was rapping and they was rapping. But secretly, I was writing rhymes the whole time. Nobody knew it though, because I was like the, the jokester, like the, the pop off dummy there sent me to go fight something like dumb shit, you know? <laughs> and all oh, nobody looked at me like that. I came, spit my verse for that. Ever since then I've been spitting. And then like people around the neighborhood started hearing it and shit like that. Scrimmage was the first one for the you Scrimmage was my first solo joint. Yeah, yeah. First solo joint. Everybody was rocking with it. Um actually it was somebody in my hood that worked for convict. It was it's a lot. It's a lot of story with that though. Some somebody fucked me over, but death to them, you know. Wow. Yeah, yeah. All right. So you working with um, poor luxury right now? Poor luxury is my gang. Okay. My team. Sorry. No gang. Oh. No gang. Team. Team. No gang. No gang. Team. Especially I still got the juice. <laughs> Number love and juice here. Mm -hmm. So poor luxury. Let's talk about it. Tell us what it's about. And what's going on here? I mean, it's all, it's all in the name right there. It's basically an entertainment company. I love uh, Me and two of my other brothers started uh, Shy and Rel. And um, basically, like, we, we realized we had the talent. Like, yo, if nobody put, it, put us on, we got to put ourselves on. You dig what I'm saying? So uh, we got the money for that. We realized we looked into what the LLC was and all the stuff like that. And my man Rel, yeah, came to it like, yo, this is here. I set it up for us. What we going to do now? So ever since then, we've just been hitting the ground running. Wow. Um, it's, it's just as the name says, poor luxury. You know how it is where we from. Like, like you say, you Brooklyn. So like you might come up in a certain type of situation, but you always gonna make it look good. So you might be poor, but you're gonna step out with the flyest shit. I mean, you know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Like that's mainly everything. And sometimes that'll make up for it. Like say you live in piss full broke, but like you got this good outfit. You know when you step outside, they're gonna love you after that. It's like, you know what I mean? Like for luxury, you know what I'm saying? You, you you make the best of whatever it is you got, make it look good, wear it on you. You make the best of you. I love the meeting on it, but I love the fact that you guys came in to the game immediately. Like, we're gonna take a hold of it first, and then we're gonna roll with it. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. I'm not worried about getting inside. I mean, that's beautiful. Yeah, that'll, that'll come when it comes. I, uh, I know people for that. That'll come when it comes. No, let's, right, let's get it right, right first. Let's get it, let's get it right first. Mm -hmm. So what's 2023 looking like for you guys? 2023, like I said, we hitting the ground running. Uh, especially me, like I said, it took me a while to do the uh, solo thing. I started off with writing stuff, and every like it's like everybody around me, like they balking on me, like Yo, you you a dickhead, you stupid, you nice, you got this going for you, da da da. And it's like I had all the right people in my corner. I got I know people that's A and O. It's one of my man's the mixiest man in the world. Be with all the rappers, and yeah. So I wasn't ready at the time. You dig what I'm saying? So now I think my mind is clear. I've been dropping stuff like for the past like couple months. It's, it's looking good. I got the right people in play. 
And it's What's looking like, and I'm here with you, man. We good I with that. That's still my thing, yeah. <laughs> What's the last song you dropped? Uh, the last one I dropped was the John I just performed here for the in-studio performance. It's called The Max. Yeah. I really love that. The Max, I man. love the sound of that. I mm. love the flow of it. Mm. You guys can understand what I'm saying. I mean, just saw the post yeah, yeah, before yeah. this. <laughs> so the flow, is it gives you old, it gives you new, it mm. gives you... Because it was that retro, like, like 80s, 90s. Like, and exactly and we, who the inspirations are. From yeah. the Lupe Fiasco's to the Jay Z's to the. We, okay, okay, okay. I, mean, I forgot. I forgot. I forgot. I, I, I forgot. I said that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hear it. Mm hmm. Yeah, and it, uh, it's all there. Cause, like, and the beats, too. I'm sorry. Cut you off. Nah, it's cutting you off. I told too much this time. No, I'm sorry. I told you I was sitting there earlier. I told too much. Stop me when you got to stop me. But yeah, um, like it was just like a, the 80s, 90s retro kind of track. And like when I when I, I just seen, like, uh, remember Saved by the Bell, where they used to go to the max? at the little restaurant after school and oh shit like that or whatever. AC Slater come in and do a little wild gay dances or whatever. You know what I mean? Little funny dances, little funny dances, but it was all, and it put me in the mind of that. So I was like, that's just a, yeah. We were the one, AC had all of us like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you said that. All right, all right. So what's come, you said you were hitting the ground running. Mm-hmm. Drop uh, for this summer? Yeah, uh, the first one out the gate is gonna be this one right here, the Max. Then I got a, Oh man, dad, I, I don't know if I can talk about that one. But uh, first, we're we talking about the Max right now. Don't we still got the juice and not giving us the juice. Nah, nah, you're going to you get the juice when the next one come out. But uh, but this one is uh, actually featuring my man, his name is uh, Dre the General. Uh, he helped me out on the track too, and it's the one we going to, uh, that video will probably come out in like, I don't know when this is going to go up or whatever, but that video will be out in about a week. Let's go. Uh, All right, when you hear the term still got the juice, so comes to mind. Still got the juice, man, you still got it, you know? Everybody like you. Sometimes you need to check in on them. Like some people can walk around like you have that that uh that whole um aura about you from who you was back in the day. Sometimes you might need a l- little check on you. Like hey, what's up, man? What's good? You still got it or not? You know what I mean? Just like I said, I used to do the music a lot. I pop back out. I'm showing y'all I still got the juice. Let me tell you something. You see, how I played that in there. That was yeah, good, right? That was beautiful. That was good. That was good. And for all the right reasons, again, like I'm gonna tell you, timing is key. Uh-huh. Rest their souls to your parents and everything you, you went you, through. Thank you. Thank you. Again, time is key. You got everything in its time. So we're here. We're ready. Yeah. Yo, Brooklyn, baby. Brooklyn, big six, seven. Hazarati. <laughs> Still got the juice. Let's get it. See the love we out of here. Yeah.